Hello everyone. Today is Weigh In Wednesday and I finally got myself kind of adjusted to where I'm getting back on my normal uploading schedule. So before we jump into the Weigh In, I want to give you guys just a really quick update on some new things that I'm doing on my channel that I'm really excited about and I hope you I hope you like them. So I'm going to start doing meal planning again. Now I'm doing it a little bit differently this time. What I found, and by the way, I have a meal plan, very short, it's only about three or four minutes long, but it's the meal plan that I ate all this past week. So what I'm showing you in that video are the items that I meal prepped. Now I'm only meal prepping for myself. So if you are just yourself dieting or two people dieting, this will completely work for you because I'm not doing big family meals. The way that life tends to work for me is that if I meal prep a few things that I enjoy, so a breakfast, a lunch, a snack, and a dessert, I do awesome. Sometimes I'll prep, you know, I don't know, maybe a dinner here and there, but for the most part, I'm making my dinners that night. Now I might choose to ground up some hamburger and have that ready so that I'm kind of partially prepped out. But what I'm mainly doing is preparing for the week. I think a lot of times when we use the term meal prep, you can kind of get the idea that I'm making the same thing, like seven things for breakfast, seven things for lunch, seven things for dinner. I don't do it that way. The way that it works for me, like I said, is to prep out some core things that I can grab and eat when I'm hungry and when I don't want to think about it. So I tell you all that because what I'm going to start doing is showing you that meal plan and then on, I believe I'm going to do this on a second day. I really want you guys' input. That's not a word at all. That's just way off. You guys is, that's not even close. I would really like your input on that. If you want to see the meal plan and then the recipes or see the meal plan and then the following day, see the recipes because I don't want a video to go 20 or 30 minutes. That's way too long. So I am going to be showing you the meal plan, the Weight Watchers meal plan. I'm on the blue plan for those of you who don't know. But it's so easy to just pop in recipes and get different points. You know, most of us are familiar with that. So I'm going to show you that. And then I'm also going to show you how I made the things that I'm eating throughout the week. So we're going to be doing that on Friday. So please tune in on Friday so that you can see the things that I showed you from yesterday's video. I hope that made sense. Now let's jump into the weigh-in. Okay, so how did I do this week? You guys are not going to believe it. I couldn't believe it. I'm so excited. I lost 2.8 pounds. I have not lost that amount of weight for a very long time. It's been, if you guys watch my weigh-in videos, you know, it's usually like point whatever, 1 plus 0.3 minus 0.6. I haven't had a big drop like that in a very long time. So let's do it. What did I do right? What did I do wrong? What could I do better? I don't think I did anything wrong, so I'm just gonna skip that because it would be very hypercritical. If you guys are like me, you just really kind of get the hammer out and do a number on yourself. I'm really trying not to do that and take the wins where I can. Sometimes there are things you could do better, but I am really happy with what I did this week. So I, I'm going to celebrate that. I think that's fair to celebrate that. So what did I do right? Um, and I'm just going to say, what am I going to do moving forward? Because I feel like I put a lot of thought into this in the way that I'm doing my meal planning now. And it worked. I did this last week. Everything that you see on Friday is actually everything I ate last week because I prepared for this for you guys just in hopes that it would work out. So what did I do right? I believe that what I did right was that I really took some time to kind of say what works for me and what doesn't work for me. What does not work for me is planning out every single thing that I put in my mouth. 
because if I don't feel like eating what I planned for dinner, I don't want to get derailed because I took that chicken breast out and now I don't want it. And it's five o'clock and I don't want to eat it. Well, then you know what? I'll just get a pizza. I don't want to do that. And you guys know that can happen. If you're not in the mood for what you made, you could do that to yourself if you're anything like me. So for me, doing this kind of prep planning where I said, okay, what do I like to eat throughout the week? I know I need a dessert. I have to have a dessert prepped or I'll make a bad choice. I know that I need some kind of sweet thing that I can grab throughout the day if I need it. It has to be there. I need that safety net. Without it, bad choice. I need to have something carbohydrate based or I will grab for chips. I know that. I have proven that to myself. So what do I put on that meal plan? You guys will see. I have basically those things on my meal plan, including I even prepped some spaghetti, which I never do. I didn't overdo it. I said, you know, okay, I'm going to measure out a cup of this for five smart points and then whatever the sauce was, I think mine was coming in in total um, seven points, but I'm measuring it out. I'm making sure I don't overdo that. I'm not allowing myself a heaping plate of spaghetti, which I, I can do and make that my main course. So I think thinking through my habits, how I know I succeed and how I know that I don't, I think that worked this week. So I hope that you guys really enjoy sort of the new format. And like I said, it's all formative and I really do appreciate your feedback because if it's working for me, I hope that it works for you because I'm just regular like you guys, you know what I mean? We're just, we're just trying to get it done, trying to get it off and keep it off kind of thing and live life. So I feel like I try to do, this was the other thing I wanted to tell you guys. I'm really sorry too if this is feeling all over the map, but I, I have a lot of thoughts today. Anyway, one thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that you will notice on my channel from now on, I'm not going to try to get fancy. I'm just not. I, I am not, you guys know I don't do a lot of internet foods. Sometimes I do, but 99% of the time I don't. If there's something that's super fabulous, I'll tell you about it. But when you see my meal planning, it's generally going to be things that are three or four ingredients at most, things you can get in your grocery store. And if I think it's something that's a little bit odd, then I'll try to find it on Amazon for you because I know how that feels. Like you want to have things in your pantry that you can make easily. And if it's something like super weird that you can only get on the internet and then you've got to order it and you've got to wait to make it, like that doesn't always work. So my meals, you will notice, sometimes you might see spaghetti every week. Sometimes you might see sausage and cheese cups every week. But you know what? You know why? Because I'm trying to lose weight. Because I'm doing, I'm doing what works for me. And if I can't make some kind of super fancy 12 ingredient, you know, whatever, whoever, I'm not going to do it because it's not going to work for me. And if it's not going to work for me, it very well may not work for you. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Anyway, that's it for the week. Down 2.8. I'm super excited about that. Stick around. Subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you. And let's see for each other.